Hi there, welcome to Easy Webinar. My name is Casey Zeman, and if this is your first time here, let me welcome you to Easy Webinar and explain to you what exactly Easy Webinar is. Easy Webinar is an all in one webinar event suite that allows you to create both live events through the power of Google Hangouts, automated or pre recorded events that then can be set to evergreen so they can happen all the time without you having to be there as well as hybrid events, which essentially is one event that starts live, then goes to a pre-recorded video, and then back to live. We are a one-of-a-kind software, and if you've been looking to build a community online or make sales uh, and generate a business through a lead generation source, this is the right platform for you. With this platform, you could say goodbye to every other webinar software that you may have. Whether that software does live events, such as GoToMeeting or GoToWebinar, or that webinar software does automated events. No matter what software you have currently that might be weighing you down financially, Easy Webinar is an all-in-one webinar event suite with a very wonderful price tag. And before I go into that detail, let me jump in and show you some of the ins and outs of Easy Webinar and how simple it is to set a webinar event up. As soon as you log in, you have the ability to add your domain, whatever domain you want to put the software on. You see, we integrate with your own WordPress site. So you would add in your domain, and if you get the unlimited site license, you can of course add any number of websites that you have a WordPress installation on. And in fact, if you don't know how to install a plugin to a WordPress site, we have detailed tutorials that will show you every single step of listing your domain, getting your access key, downloading the product, and installing. In fact, our installation videos are very, very robust, and we take you through the process of understanding exactly what you need to get started. So if this is your first time creating a WordPress site, don't worry, we have you covered there. You've installed the software. What it's gonna look like is this, inside your WordPress site. And what you're going to do from here is you can start the process of creating your webinar. What happens is it sends you back in directly into Easy Webinars platform because we are not just a plugin. We are both a plugin and software as service. So what we do is you create the pages inside whichever site you want. You would create the pages on our website and in your own personal Easy Webinar dashboard, and then you'd publish them and they would then go into your WordPress site. You do not edit anything inside your WordPress site. Everything is done in our own site. So let me go in now and show you just how easy it is to create an event. You can click Add Event and go through the process essentially of deciding what kind of event you want. You see, Easy Webinar allows you to do one-time events or recurring events. And those one-time events or recurring events can be either an automated event or live event, okay? So if I chose to do a automated event, chances are I'd want to have that recurring, meaning that it happens more than one day. I'd name my event, I'm gonna call this Casey's test event, automated. I'm gonna then decide how I want to stream it out, whether it's in my attendee zone time zone or my time zone. You see, that's the benefit. If you have a worldwide audience and someone on the opposite side of the world, I can stream out pre-recorded videos in my attendee zone time zone to be able to collect more registrants and leads. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm then gonna decide how often I want to do the event. If I wanna have it streamed out uh, specific days in the week. Let's say I personally know that on Thursdays and Wednesdays and Saturdays are my best days for streaming an event out. I'm also then gonna choose when I want to stream that event out. I'm gonna do it actually more than once. I'm gonna have it at 11 a.m. And then check that out. I can actually add another time slot for that same day. And I'm gonna choose that at 3 p.m. So it's gonna stream out two times every single one of these days. I can also choose the start date and an end date for this event. So if I wanted to have this event running only for about a month or two, I can choose those dates here. But by leaving it blank, it will continue to go evergreen. It will just continue to replay over and over. The days to show. Now the days to show are how many days are actually showing on the registration page. So I'm actually gonna show two days on the registration page. And a block day simply means when someone comes to that page, how soon after can they register? If I have zero, that means that they can register for an event that might be happening that day. 
If I choose one, that will block out, let's say, the next day in a series. So let's say I land on Tuesday to watch an event or land on Tuesday to the registration page. It will block out, one will block out that Wednesday and then it will show that following Thursday. Okay, that's exactly how that works. I can also choose on this particular page to have the replay of the event going on. So now as an option, I can have the replay going or a couple days as an option from that page. Let me show you exactly what that looks like. Here's one of our pages that you can create with EasyWebinar. All these things are customizable from adding in images to adding in text above to adding in a video. All the buttons are completely editable. All the text is completely editable as well as all of this content here, the presenter information, the presenter image. And then from here, this is where you can schedule and choose which day you're going to stream out. Now it is currently March 4th. And you can see here that the next time that I have streaming is March 5th and 6th. So if I came tomorrow to this same exact registration page, the two dates that would be showing here would be 6 and 7. Okay, because I decided for this particular event to stream it out every single day. Okay, so what would happen is if a user comes to this page, they would decide if they want to watch yesterday's replay now, which by doing so would bring them directly into a replay event and here is what that would look like it would drive them directly into this page okay where they could see the registered attendees they can ask a question they can see what are known as delayed events and delayed events are essentially things that you can preset to have going during the webinar now from the same page I can also choose to watch a future date and our software creates all these pages for you so what we've seen here is I created a registration page. Here is a thank you page. And on the thank you page, everything is fully customizable. You have the video image here. You have text that you can add here. You have a custom URL that will count down prior to this event starting. So if I were to click on that now, it would actually take me to a countdown page prior to the event. And when this all reaches 000 is when the event will start. Also from this page, I have the inside my video a call to action that says go ahead and share news of this event to unlock a free gift. So once someone actually shares news of this event, it unlocks a free gift that I have available. So for instance, if I were to tweet this out, this automatically unlocks this PDF that everybody can then watch. And if I didn't get to it there, I could always click here to grab it. Also from this page, you can choose which icon you'd like to do. So if I wanted to add this event to my Google Calendar, I could click right here and it would add the info directly into my Google Calendar. And it would add the link to the event into my Google Calendar. I could choose to print this page as well. Or I can add this to my Outlook from here. So let me go back into the dashboard to show you exactly how all this works. So we were inside this event and we were creating this event out. We would add in the presenter information. I'd activate it. I'd add my name. I can then upload or add the image through a link. If you want to upload, you can certainly do so and browse and add that in. You can then add the description of the presenter. Then you'd go into your registration page. Now, inside Easy Webinar, we have a few different type of templates. We have a professional theme, a classic theme, but we also have a customized theme. And the customized theme allows you to create a theme that is fully responsive and editable. So if I chose this theme, I'd then select it. It would automatically give me a checkbox. And then I go through and fill in the page setting fields. And again, because this is a fully customizable template, you can add a browser title, which is the what shows up right up here at the top. You can then go through or you can add an image for your background. You could choose a background image for your header as well. But if you don't want to do any of that, all you have to do is come right down here and have a headline for your event, such as welcome to the event. We are starting soon. 
Now, your main display can either be an image or a video. This is going to be the headline and the subheadline for the registration page. Register now to get access to this event. When you come on through, we have a free gift for you. Your main display, you can have an image or video. I'm gonna choose video because that's what I prefer and I would generally grab a, U a YouTube URL and paste it in here. I can then edit all the information such as the registration, arrow text, the color of the text of the arrow and more. Here's the event description. I can also then get notified as soon as someone registers and I can also completely edit the footer text so that I can drive people back to my website more often. Everything is brandable in your own personal brand. Nothing has Easy Webinar on it when you choose to get the unlimited site license. The advanced option just gives you more information, more details that you can edit. Especially, let's say, if you are in a different language and you would like to have a webinar in your own language for your own audience you can do so from these pages in the advanced section. So once you've done the registration page, you move to the thank you page. And really essentially you fill in the same information just like the registration page, headline, subheadline. You choose whether you're gonna have a video or not on your main display for your thank you page. You would have your thank you page message. We have a share incentive. And by enabling that, what you can do is you can add a gift to be downloaded when you incentivize someone to share news of the event. You would put your post description here, okay, as well as your post title. And I would suggest something like, I've just registered for Easy Webinar, and I think you should too. And then what we do is we automatically add the URL here. Now, in the advanced options, again, this is the same data that you can fill in. Everything can be editable in your own attendees' uh, language if you choose to do so here. And if you don't want to go into the advanced options, you certainly don't need to. This is for those who really want to customize their events. So now let's go to the nitty gritty, the event page itself. Again, you'd start by adding a browser title if you'd like up here. This all helps with getting more traffic to your webinars, okay, to your registration pages, essentially by making your webinars SEO friendly or search engine optimized. You'd add in a headline, subheadline, you could add whatever you want here. You don't even need to add a subheadline if you don't want. And then this is where you'd put the event video. Now, if you are streaming out a Google Hangout live event through YouTube, you would simply put the YouTube URL here. Or if you are doing an automated event, you would add the RTMP video or any video file into this event field. And if you want to make sure you get the mobile video format, you'd do the same here. You can also upload videos directly in from your Amazon S3. And what happens is we turn that video into what's known as an RTMP file when you do this automatically. In fact, we suggest using your Amazon S3 for your pre-recorded videos so that they stream out in real time and we make it easy to do so simply by adding the access key here. You can then decide how long you want the event to stream out. Let's say I have a video, a pre-recorded video that's two hours, I would set the time here. But let's say I want to do a Google Hangout live stream event, I can set this for as long as I want. So if I'm gonna do a live stream event through Google Hangouts, let's say I stream for three hours. I can always end before that time, but I just wanna make sure that the page is live for those three hours. What happens is after the three hours, this event is over. So if you're gonna do a live event, just make sure that you set enough time. As you can see here, I'm doing a automated event. So I would probably set this exactly at the time for the actual video. We also have a chat box integration and you have many different options here. We have a default chat box, which is a question box that allows you to follow exactly what people ask and then it saves it into our easy webinar dashboard. You can integrate Facebook, Twitter, or any third party chat such as live fire or chat roll. You can also direct attendees as soon as your event is over to whatever domain you want. Now this is very helpful for doing your hybrid events. And once you come inside, I show you exactly how you can do that. 
You can also choose to have a maximum number of live attendees, but what EasyWebinar allows you to do is it allows you to stream out to an unlimited number of attendees for an unlimited number of sites. You can also show your attendees. Anyone who comes to your event, you can show them. Or let's say you don't necessarily have a big attendee list. Well, you can roll in a number of simulated attendees as well as real life attendees into each event that you have streaming. And again, you have full customization on the footer area as well. Now, what are timed events? Timed events are events that can occur at specific times during your webinar. Whether that webinar is live or automated, you can have an event start such as a question that starts at five seconds such as, hi there, can you hear me? And you can have that end at say 15 seconds. So as soon as someone comes to the event, as soon as someone comes to the event, they get a message from you right away and you can add as many timed events as you choose. Oftentimes what people will do is they'll create a timed event such as a buy now or get access now. A call to action can be your time event. So let's say your event is one hour long and maybe at the 30 minute mark or 45 minute mark, you want to have a buy now button show up. What you do is you would set it to the start time and end time at one hour, okay? So this means that it shows for 15 minutes exactly. Get access now. And then you can choose one of our buttons that we have. And then you can put in where you want to direct this person. We integrate with all shopping carts, whether PayPal, one shopping cart, Infusionsoft shopping cart, whatever you have, you can put it into here for your shopping cart, or you can have people sent to a download now button, a PDF, wherever you'd like to send them. You can also upload your own images as well. We also have a built-in notification system. So if you want us at first use our built-in notification to send the emails out, you can do so. But for those of you who have an autoresponder, you can also integrate your own autoresponder or even use your own autoresponder to send out the email notifications for the webinar. We also give you the option of both, meaning that you would add your autoresponder code here and you could enable our emails to be sent out from our dashboard. You would put your name here, email subject, and you can see here that we have short codes so that you can add in and make it personalized every email that goes out. So thanks for registering username. This will be the username of the person that actually registers. We also have built-in templates that you can use that will make your events sparkle more. You'd simply edit some of this out and then fill in exactly what you want to say. And as you can see, all the short links are already in here that give your user all the information they need from the date and time of the webinar to the actual personalized link that accesses the event for them. You'd then set before event notifications, which can be sent out days before the event, hours before the event, and literally minutes before the event. Also, the after event notifications will send out a replay event one day after, or two days after, or three days after, or hours after, or literally minutes after the event. And then finally, in our advanced option settings, you can make your events SEO friendly by creating all the SEO settings for all the different pages. You can also rename the URLs for these pages. So if you wanna make these customized so that they are more SEO friendly, you can do so. And we also allow you to add third-party scripts such as Google Analytics or even retargeting analytics and pixels such as Facebook pixels or perfect audience pixels. And we, you can do that for each of these pages so you can tell when someone takes an action. Speaking of action, let me go back in to see all events so you can understand a bit more about our analytics system. You see, our software is a one-of-a-kind analytic system that allows you to see exactly who your most engaged attendees are. In fact, if we go into this one, Easy Webinar Plugin, I can see who visits, who registers, how many people show up to an event, how many watch an event, how many watch a replay, and how many take an action. 
And when I say take an action, I mean whether they ask a question during an event or they click on a button. So with our software as well, with every webinar event, you have a filter feature. So you can filter out those who register, showed, watched, watched a replay and took an action. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna filter out everyone who took an action and see who those people are. So these are, these are all the people that took an action during my events. And you can go in every single day and see exactly who these people are and determine if they are the most engaged users. Chances are when someone comes in and they watch 100% of your webinar and they ask a question or click on a button, that simply means that they are probably close to buying. So for instance, this person, Ita, both clicked the download now button and the order now button. And she just recently watched this event, probably today, and she watched 100% of it. So this might be a buyer who's almost on the brink of coming through. Likewise, you can click on any of them and see this person clicked order now. And this person, as you can see, had questions during the event. This person clicked download now. And what's nice is that you can see that most of the people that ask questions or take an action, they are the ones that watch a good majority of the event. You can also filter out how much people watch. So maybe you wanna filter and see who watches 70% of the event. You could do so here. Finally, if you go over here to action tab, you can see all the links that the software creates for you from registration pages to thank you pages. This is where you can test out and see what these look like. Your event page link. Now this is for your live event that only those who register for can access. We also have a public event link, which anyone can access. So if you want to send out and do a webinar or event on the fly, you can bring them to this page. Or let's say you want to create a webinar into the future, but you don't want someone to register for it. You just want them to come to a page prior to the event starting. You can send them to a countdown page before the next event starts. They don't have to register for it. And by coming to this link, this will count down and go to 000 and redirect back into the live page once the webinar is in fact live. And finally, the replay page will show pretty much the same as the live event or the pre-recorded, but you have a scrub bar here, which will allow you to fast forward and rewind. A couple other things that you should know about each event is that you can also clone an event. So you can take one event that was done, clone it, and then use all the templates and things that you've already created in there again and again and again. You can also clone one webinar and add it to another domain, any other domain that you have listed. So let's say I have some of my client sites listed or say I have a sales team and I want to send off a master webinar to somebody else on my team. If their domain is listed under our license or one license, you can add one event to another domain. For instance, I can clone this to this domain and now it shows that I've added this particular domain. Here is now the domain I'm in and it's created this new event for me. I'll call this clone affiliate webinar. And I'll click save and publish. Very quickly, let me show you an example of one of our automated webinar events, and I can show you also an example of one of our live events. So this is an automated webinar, and of course you would just register for the event. This is one of our customers, one of our clients, use our software. And as you can see, she has videos on all of the pages. Very engaged content. And of course, this will count down prior to the event starting. Now, if you wanted to see what the actual page looks like once you join the webinar, this is what the actual event page looks like. And here is her presentation as it's going on. 
Now, as someone who is asking questions during this event, you can put in your name and email and then say, hi there, this looks great. And what happens is this question is sent through to the admin. Now, as the person putting your name and email in here, it automatically adds it in so you don't have to add it in after the first time. Now, this is to send someone to directly to a live page. But here's the nice thing. When you come through the actual registration process, your name and email are already put here automatically. So come on through Easy Webinar today and learn why our software is going to be the number one solution for you when you're creating online events to bring in more traffic, build in a deeper community, and teach an audience online. This is Casey Zeman, and I'll see you on the inside.